And after all of that, it should just throw us straight into the thing, but nope. Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, the well, fate of the universe. Well, I think they gave people the choice just in case they accidentally hit yes. Eh. They should have read them more. The fate of the universe. Ah, oh, listen to this music. There's a few tracks in this game I actually like. I don't like dry bombs, no matter what game they are. I just don't like them. Same here. Well, except for Mario Kart DS. Why DS? You can play it as Dry Bones. Is he good? Ah, uh, he's fine. Eh. From what I remember, when I actually played Mario Kart DS, eh, I didn't like Dry Bones too much. It's weird, Mario Kart DS is the only one I've played to a certain extent, and I gave it away to my cousin. I've played and beaten Wii with my dad, Mario Kart Wii with my dad, and it wasn't even our copy, it was my aunt's, when we, whenever we visit her. That was, that was before the divorce happened and she lost the week. I'm probably going to pick up Mario Kart 8 eventually, just to try it, but that'll probably be the only Mario Kart game I ever played a, a hell of a lot of. Whoa! Because when we played Double Dash, I didn't really like it too much. Yeah, I, you're take, it needs to, you need to get used to Mario Kart. Eh, I just... Whoa, 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 whoa! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Damn it. I think my main problem with Mario Kart is the fact that it's not skill that allows you to win, it's luck. luck. If somebody if somebody gets an item and can screw you over. Yeah, it's it's mainly that reason why I don't like why I like Sonic Riders more, more than Mario Kart. It it takes skill to kick someone's ass in Riders where it only takes a certain amount of luck in Mario Kart. Uh oh. Uh, I forgot they they go away after a certain amount of time. I never know they I never knew that it I have beaten this game before, people. Okay, this game, this game, okay, this game, this level is very generous with the, with the throne of lives, so you shouldn't find yourself in a game over all that much. Yeah. Speaking of one-ups. Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it! What does that keep happening to me? I'll be honest, I think that's just you being stupid and running right into them. Um, uh, that was me falling into them. There's a difference. Damn it, not again! For shit's sake. Damn it! Really? <laughs> okay. I was running with my ass on fire. Mario, you need to learn to stop, drop, and roll. I'm just thinking, if you could do that, it would save a lot of frustrating deaths. Yep. I just have to ask, how does Wolfric keep his coat on? And you're asking this because? Because I just met up with him. Damn it, not again! Shit, sake, Mario. Stop running into fireballs. Well, actually, I should be telling that to you, not Mario, but oh well. He's, he's the one who's running with his ass on fire. He's the one that's got to learn to stop, drop, and roll. Oh, well, at least the music is always good, so it doesn't really put me in a grouchy mood. Hmm. We're finally getting this shit done. Yep. Uh, uh, uh. See, I told you it goes away after a certain period of time, and yep, I'm dying. I'm dying again. Or not? Now you are. <laughs> Ice physics. Oh look, I kept bouncing. I kept bouncing. I kept bouncing. I'm gonna end up cutting this part in half. Just record it all in one go and cut it in half. Okay. Oh uh, crap. That was just me being stupid with the timing! That uh, it was... That guy just got it, out. It seems that. like the greatest threat to you in this game is fire. <laughs> because uh, you always get your ass burned. <laughs> yeah, because Mario doesn't know when to stop, drop, and roll! I'm surprised spinning doesn't, doesn't cancel the ass burn. That does surprise me, actually. Can't you skate on this? I d can, I just don't want to fall off. Not that hard to stay on. I don't trust myself. <laughs> oh, 
in that case. Okay, now moving on to the desert section. That'll help me. I'm usually the one to defend Earth, sec Earth sections. Desert sections, except for when it comes to heroes. Well, I can agree to heroes, but... Rail Canyon. Worst level in the fucking game. Yep. So, I hear some people say that Mystic Mansion is the worst aside from the music, but... It has... It's more It's more fun than Rail Canyon. Ugh, Rail Canyon. So many bottomless pits. I mean, it only is bottomless pits. Eh, screw it. Um, Bowser, any particular reason why you kind of just mishmashed a bunch of levels together? We can do more oh, impressions. Oh, son of a bitch! We can do more impressions. I'm concentrating here. You do the impressions. Damn it. <laughs> I can't do a good, good Mario impression. Bowser, why are you, what is with you in all of your collections? Don't you, don't you know that? Damn it. Okay, this is uh, why I, uh, this is why I said I need to concentrate. You're the, the one guy who just got his fucking ass burned. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make my voice growl, people. Ah, uh, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Go on, style. Mario, is there something wrong with you? Because you're kind of just too excited there. What is with you? What is with you and your platforms having time limits, Bowser? Unfortunately, I couldn't just make them go away. I don't know why. Why does it keep happening? I because s you're stupid. <laughs> no, I was jumping to get to the to get to the bottom section, but then the grab and then the jump just keep just stopped out of nowhere. Just suddenly stopped. Wait, I forgot. Does these things do these things hold coins? Yes. Yay. Haha, <laughs> can't break concrete. Apparently. Mega Thwomp. I'm surprised that I'm surprised they didn't make this a ball rolling section. Oh god. Oh hey, the one in Melty Molten Galaxy was fun. Shit. Shit! Oh for the love of god. I knew you were going to do that. Do you have any better ideas? I'm just saying. Come on, Tabo! Mm -hmm. at, at least these things don't hum on you. They really like using bonsai bills and Galaxy the too. Yay, they blew each other up. It's that one launch star I need to get to. I'm trying to figure out what item to give to my city for. Because I haven't found a water item yet. But is your team still the same one from when we when we battled each other? The only difference is that shell gun has a wall. Okay. No changes in moves or anything? Not many. I did I did uh I did replace Ace Pedal Fuck. I did replace Honda's Pedal Blizzard with Pedal Dance as and I caught it Moonblast. Because the Moonblast Moonblast rapes everything in Team Flare but in Team Flare areas. Yeah. I got rid of Lucky Chan for it. Fuck! Because Lucky Chan sucks. Fuck! I'm... The only game where Lucky Chan is really useful is in Gen 1, but... Er, and I mean the original Gen 1, where... Er, er, the critical hit rate was out the ass. Was high uh, as Was up the ass? Well, it was so hot, high that if you got a really fucking fast Pokemon, then everything would die. Back. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of deaths. Yeah. They only firefox up here. A super shroom would be helpful at the moment. Unfortunately it's not in this game. I mean a double I mean a health shroom. That's about the same. 
The one up may look tantalizing, but I'm not going after it. Fuck. You have enough star bits to get to keep you going forever anyway. Your phone just went off. Yeah, I know, but it's not Ridley, so. <laughs> Ridley, what the hell are you doing here? I can't just want. Hey, I like Mario. But Bowser's a distant cousin, so I have to root him on. Yeah. That explains a lot, actually. What? That there are. No, I think they're assholes by family, so that's the reason why they end up that they end up doing everything. Fuck. <laughs> that couldn't have opened up a coin. I thought that was going to hit you. <laughs> I thought I was going to hit the... Like that? Yeah. I thought I was going to hit a bonsai bill. I thought I was going to hit the bonsai bill. As soon as it breaks this, I am running. Ah, yee. Oh. <sighs> I double shot. For shit's sake. I'm dead. Rocket to ask for her. <sighs> yeah, this is gonna take a lot. Get the lava and I'll take over for you. I did not do that on purpose. Helpful. And sent you in front of a statue. Okay, Connor's playing until we get out of this lava area. Maybe because the combination of bullet bells keep killing me. What the, that didn't give me a coin. I thought it would give me a coin. What the hell? There we go. Just to get rid of that excessive BB. Because if there's anything that can drum in your ears, it's, it's incessant BB. <laughs> 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 Not even I die like that. <laughs> well, that was me thinking that I went faster than I actually do. You're not Sonic in this game. Remember that. Uh oh. Remember, five more times a time limit before they go away. I know. Hey, now that I can go in my person now. Okay, Mario. This is what the? How many attempts is it now? Well, blame you. Okay. Oh, I somehow put through the fireballs twice. Uh, I'm at. A, I'm at. I don't care about the freaking star bits. I just want to get through this. Okay, remember? Oh, well, thank you. So, Mario, do you like do you like my 360 degree bathtub? Yeah. Since when is since when is this a bathtub for you? Ever since I could breathe fire? Mario, stop running like an idiot. <laughs> Rocket has burned yet again. Yeah. Just smack my face. Okay, Mario, wall. this is payback for ruining my bath in sunshine. Well, seeing as you were trying to make Peach swim in acid, at least I think it was acid. It's not acid, it's just very hot water. Then why was it green? Junior loves to call it. Junior just loved the color green. You think it, I think he dumped in some green food dye or something. Why food dye? Aren't turtles allergic to food dye? Hey, I'm a Koopa. There's a difference. Hey, at least while in one universe you're an angry white bastard who kind of looks who kind of looks like George Bush in a way. I was going I was going to say Commissioner Gordon from Arkham Asylum. Well, I see more Bush. I don't know why, but I see Bush. There's a coin there. I have to ask how coins replenish Margo's life. It's been like that. It's been like that since '64. I don't get it. That was that was when they took Mario's oh, weakness shit. of being killed in one hit. Due to everything having multiple angles to kill you like this. Get the coin, get the coin, get the coin! Oh! oh. oh. 
Same. Mega Man, Mega Man X. Okay, what that the was... hell did you try to pull off there? <laughs> that was me trying to pull off a long jump, but accidentally walking off the edge before hitting Z. Okay. okay. Get out there, get out there, get out there, get out there. <laughs> what the hell's going on with gravity there? Okay. Ah, finally, fucking done with this section. <laughs> okay, Bowser Jr., what are you doing here? This is a fight between me and your dad. Okay, why? Okay. In Sunshine, Bowser Jr. was smaller than Peach. But now... He grew up. Seriously? There's your answer. <laughs> he grew up. It was just one game. Okay. As soon as Peach says Mario and claps her hands together, the awesome music of this galaxy comes back. Instead of Bowser Jr.'s shitty theme. I really hate that theme. Eh, yeah, definitely could have been better. Suddenly, meteors. I need this. Yeah, you do. Well, you would need it if you were back in that lava section. Let's face it, this final boss isn't exactly hard. It's still I never thought I was going to jump on his head before the cutscene started. It's still harder than the Galaxy 2 final boss. The Galaxy 2 final boss is just insultingly easy. It's the same thing. I thought the only difference is the music. No. The Galaxy 2 final boss is nothing like this one. I mean, I mean the same Bowser fights from Galaxy 2, but... Well, it's just, well, technically this is the same thing from the rest of the Bowser fights in this game, but it's still har harder than Ga <laughs> Galaxy 2. I don't forget that the music is awesome. Yeah. Then, of course, you, have, you don't exactly have a way to hit him. Like that? Well, yeah, I have a different way of hitting him here. Then you do normal this fight way. isn't all that hard, like you said, but I do find some fun in it. Yeah. At least it's not insulting. Fuck. Why does this remind me of the first boss from Crash Wreck at the Cortex? I don't know. By the way, do you really know what the first boss is in network transmission? What? Fireman. <laughs> and Sims Mega... Isn't that a battle network game? Yes, but it's a platformer instead of puzzle. Mm. Oh, and also... Apparently in the beginning, a it's... Oh, that's me. But... Bowser, why didn't you go with the invincible spike ball sooner? I keep missing. I think you're at a point where it's kind of hard to hit it. Fuck, I missed. But you didn't get hit. Okay, what was I talking about again? Oh, yeah. And since Mega Man and Network Transmission controls like a Belmont, Eh, yeah, that doesn't sound fun. Well, in the beginning, anyway, you can upgrade him. But right now, he controls like a Belmont. Yeah. So, let me guess, it's the usual Mega Man backwards difficulty curve. Well, the game compensates for you getting stronger with upgrades. Like I said, the usual backwards difficulty curve of a Mega Man game. Because I find Mega Man games to be really fucking hard in the beginning, but once you get in, towards the end of the game, they're freaking easy. That's because, that's, all because, that's because you have all sorts. Of, that's because you have all the power ups. Like I said, which, multi which mostly have a secondary use and or hit hard. Like I said, backwards difficulty. Okay, now it's down to traditional Bowser fighting. Or not. Of course, the music is just awesome. Isn't this the same theme from Galaxy 2, just slightly different? I think so. Get over here, get over here, get over here! Damn it, I'm not gonna get him in me. Wait. Phew! His ass burns a lot longer than Mario's does. I'm thankful for that! Okay, never mind. Maybe? Okay, I take back... Okay, Bowser. If that, if that last area was your bathtub, how come this love is different? Um, it's a star in progress. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh! Yee! Yeah. God damn it, Aspern! 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 Aspern!
You know what game on the Sonic Marathon I can't wait for us to get to? Uh, SA2? Uh, no. 06? No. We're not doing 06 in this marathon. Oh, too fucking long. And Shadow? Yes, because I get to play Prime 2. And specifically avoiding playing Prime 2 until we get to Shadow. And he's landing into the reservoir of the bathtub. He's gonna be fine. <laughs> At least until the universe implodes. It's funny, he cut on fire before he landed in the lava. Well, that's kind of what happens when you get really freaking close to a heat source that big. Yeah, how come Mario's not on fire? Because we're not close enough to it. Well, time for the last Grand Star. Hello there. Ready? Three, two, Just get the damn star. One. The game makes it epic enough. You don't have to make it even more epic. Me. You missed. I don't know where it even went. It's over here. What did you throw anyway? I don't know. Some random crumb. Is okay. it that glue? I think it was a chip crumb. Oh wait. That was your junior. Well, you suck at security guard. You suck at guard duty. Yep. <laughs> Look, there he is. There he goes, Bowser Junior, falling. <laughs> okay, how come this ship just stopped working? The Grand Star was nowhere was nowhere near to being attacked on the ship. Maybe it's like supersonic in the beginning of Unleashed. It just blew up because the energy was too great. <laughs> there, please tell me there's no escape sequence. There isn't. Oh, good. From this point on, it's cutscene. Although, I have to wonder if this is the fire planet that we were on during the level. Oh, Bowser! You look like shit, man! To be honest, I think if they want to make Bowser a threat again, they need to have him be kind of more badass like this shit here. Because <laughs> he survived being shot into the sun. And he is going, I'm not going out without, I'm not going down without you. At yeah. this point, before he goes, this can't be happening. Pretty much. Especially seeing as this thing kind of goes into a... Kablooey? Supernova. Like I said, Kablooey. And then Black Hole. Although in reality, it does not transition that fast. It does look nice, though. Yeah. Okay, Mario, you should have sped up. You should have sped up with the, the squirting process. I, I, I don't think he had a choice. Well, actually, I don't think he knew that it was going to become a black hole. Crap! That thing is sucking up everything. That's kind of what a black hole does when it's first born. Yeah, I figured. Luma. Why are you waving? Why are you waving? Don't go! Don't go, Luma! Don't go! Don't do it! And then we have the ending of Colors. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Even though this came first. I know. But I still like Colors more. Because it's Sonic? Well, that and Sonic kind of got sucked into the thing, so they were saving him as well as the rest of the planet. Instead of... Instead of Mario being safe because everything kind of blew up before he got in there. Well, that and the ending of Colors doesn't cause a complete reboot of one game. <laughs> okay, so if the reboot just basically happened, well, how come Rosalina is playable in 3D World? Because Mario doesn't have a continuity. Except when it comes to Paper Mario. Yeah. And Mario and Luigi. I think the only main series games that have a sort of continuity are this and Galaxy 2. With Galaxy... With uh, Galaxy... Galaxy 2 doesn't have continuity to this. Mario does not know what the Lumas are in that game. Well, like I said, Galaxy 2 is... Well, like I said, it's a... Basically what happened between this game and Galaxy 2 is a reboot as because of what's happening here. By the way, how come Rosalina is so cute to this point? I don't know. 
Basically, what the Lumas did was, because the black hole occurred at the center of the universe, the entire universe was basically imploding in on, on itself, so the Lumas caused another big bang. <laughs> I'm, I, was starting, I was starting to think of how the, the grand clock worked in Crack in Time and, and Ratchet. I haven't seen any footage it of that. It is game. hilarious. Yeah, the only footage of that game I've seen is the Dr. McFerry stuff. I mean, the beginning, I mean, when when Clank starts talking to, to Nefarious, have you seen that cutscene? Uh, no. I thought Nefarious was the main villain of the future series. He is. So but, what happened at the end of Ratchet and Clank 3 that have that happen? Oh. Uh, Clank was taken, and then Clank was taken by Nefarious because he teamed up. He teamed up with some people who wanted a guardian for the Grand Clock back. And since Clank was supposed to be the next one, due to Clank being created by the creator of the Grand Clock, uh, Bowser, what are you doing here? But it's I thought Clank was made by I thought Clank was made by the main villain of the first game. I forgot what his name was, but... I don't I, care what it is either, but... That's... I thought Clank was a defective guard... I thought the fe I thought Clank was a defective guard robot for him. This would be a lot better if you had voice acting, Nintendo. Oh, much better. Well, we didn't get that to other him, and it was kind of crappy. Well... But then again, they did, but then again, they did, see, they did voice acting in CDI. Well, I thought all of the CDI games were made by someone other than Nintendo, which is the reason why they sucked. Okay, we're done, finally. Yay. 53 minutes. Yep, I'm splitting this episode in half. All of this half. was my failure. Yep. Can I split this up in any way, like how we like didn't try? I don't think we can. Fuck. Oh, oh well. Well, like, I, like I said, fun game. It's just when you it's just when you want it to uh, get over with. It can drag. And as I said during the final level, I would rather be frustrated than bored out of my fucking mind. So I'd rather play Shadow over this. Shadow's not frustrating. I find it frustrating. He has a lack of patience. That's the reason why. Oh, shut up, you. <laughs> Well, I also do think that my love for Sonic just kind of has a, does kind of affect my opinion. Super Mario Bros. for the NES was actually the first game I ever played. I forget what the first game I played was. I think it was Mario One as well. It might have been. It might have been Pokemon Ruby, but I don't know. I forget. Okay. That besides Super Mario Brothers, I also played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the on the NES. That must have been painful. I was three, did not know what to do, I wanted Leonardo, my cousin chose Leonardo, I chose Rat, and then she killed me because I was Rat. <laughs> maybe, if you, maybe if you can find that game again, you can use your massive amount of patience in order to beat it. Hmm. The thing is, you have an actual one of the now. Yep! I have an actual one of with an original copy of Super Mario Brothers. Which means if we are playing that game, we're doing it on that. Tips on Luigi. You wanna know something sad? What? Once the eighth generation of consoles gets into full swing, the GameCube, PS2, and Xbox will become retro consoles. It technically already is. Seeing seeing as most people don't even take them anymore. Well, that's mainly because... Well, they mainly just stopped taking the older generations once the new ones started up. It's like once Gen... It's like once Gen 9 of the... Con it's like the once the Gen 9 consoles come out, the Wii, PS3, and Xbox stuff will stop being sold. Wii's have already, been, have already stopped being produced, so... Well, yeah, they'll stop making the consoles, but the... During the 8th generation, but they won't actually stop selling the... Hey, it's stuff. the one that went boom! It's the one that went boom! Oops. Yeah. Like I said, they won't. They'll stop making the actual console holes and games once the eighth generation gets in the full swing. But they won't stop using. But they won't stop u selling the used stuff until until Gen Nine starts. 
Okay, Mario, how do you hold that many bomb ghosts together at once? You keep running away from them until a bunch of them appear on screen. I mean, that must make Boulder guys and shit ton easier. <laughs> I think he wanted that many to destroy the hands. Just so they didn't get in the way. Okay, but wait. Bowser yeah. Jr., you are not threatening muscle fucking ever. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more funny than threatening. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, going back to the voice acting, they did they tried that in Sunshine and just it got a lot of negative attention for it. Well I think it could have been good as if they tried better in in the only form of Mario we never saw in this playthrough, flying Mario. We could do that. I just felt lazy. Yep. The end. Okay, let's just stop. Let's just stop right now and start uh, and start adventure, shall we? You're welcome. Maybe. New trip to the town to the storybook. It's also going to be covered in an extra video if we ever pick this game up again. Yep. Purple comic has now appeared. This is uh, this is what this is what's stopping. Okay, each galaxy has two prankster comments. This is the second one, and this is the reason why whenever whenever we got all the stars in the galaxy, it didn't say galaxy complete. We have a purple comment to do. Yep. Extra video, which will probably never come. <laughs> Save your game. Yes. Okay, we're done. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would just like to mention something. Go on. The next game we do in, in terms of the Mario series will be Mario World and Mario 3. Mar oh, I, right. say, I, say, I say those two at the same time because I have no clue which we're going to do first. Dibs on Luigi no matter what you say. <laughs> Dibs on Luigi. So yeah, those will be our next Mario games, but as for the next games we're doing in general, we're starting the Sonic Marathon, so we'll see you We're continuing! Then. The last... I'm, not, I'm not uploading Sonic Adventure parts until after this gets uploaded. I know, I'm just saying we are so we're gonna we're gonna get start we're gonna continue our recording because the last time we recorded anything for Sonic Adventure was back in November. Yep. I even put a header at the very beginning of the episode saying this was recorded a long ass time ago. <laughs> okay. I think I I think I have a idea of what you're gonna name this episode. What? Finally it's over. <laughs> Oh well, we have been the Insane Duo, and hopefully we'll see you guys again. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs>